What happened at the worst party you've ever been to? I went to a friend's graduation party after high school. I wasn't great friends with him, but I figured I would stop by with my GF because he was nice enough to invite me. The party was so done up. Tables full of food, streamers, confetti, all that crap. And my GF and I were the only ones there. I felt awful. His parents clearly went all out to celebrate it, and it was so uncomfortable being one of five people there, including him and his parents. I felt awful for him. We stayed for hours out of pity, and just kind of made small talk. Super depressing. This is why I never throw parties for myself. But good on you for actually showing up. You kept that from being the worst day ever, even if it was super awkward. The floor collapsed under the weight of a throng of jumping freshmen. I'm sorry you had to party with freshmen. High school, late 80s, at an outside party with a bonfire to celebrate the end of the school year. Some numb nuts throws a glass bottle of beer into the fire. About 20 minutes later the bottle explodes and shoots a stream of boiling beer all over a girl's crotch and legs. Ambulance was called. I believe she required several skin grafts over several months. I can still remember her shrilling scream and then her passing out. Good lord, that sounds frightening. My brother was at a party once where there were more than a couple underage drinkers present. The house they were at had a thin driveway so all the cars were packed into a bottleneck. The night wore on and around 1 in the morning someone decided they wanted to go home. They found the girl who owned the car at the front of the bottleneck and asked her to move her car so she could get out. She said she couldn't because she had a breathalyzer installed in her car and it wouldn't start until someone sober blew into it. They went around the party and tried to find anyone who hasn't been drinking and couldn't find one. Another guy had the brilliant idea of asking the cool 20 something dude next door to do it. So an envoy of teens head over to the house next door and ask the dude living there if he would please blow into a breathalyzer so they could leave. The dude takes a minute to look the group over, takes a drag of his cigarette, and says, You're gonna give me $25 for every person at the party or I'm calling the cops. Double quote. That last bit played out like a movie in my head. So awesome. My sister's birthday was in the middle of the school holidays, and for her 7th birthday she had a party that no one turned up to. Turns out our mother put the wrong date on the invites, so a lot of people had tried to come over the day before whilst we were out. That's better than the alternative where the date was correct and flat out no one showed up. Some girl apparently had made out with a guy who wasn't her boyfriend before leaving. Someone at the party tells him via text and a little while later someone is kicking down the door. He barges in waving a gun around screaming, which one of you am made out with my girl people are ducking, scurrying away and I'm just standing there thinking, if this is how I die I'm going to be pee. Host who knew him quickly pushes him out the door. Since many of these stories are about drunk pooping and puking and other horrible things, allow me to lighten the mood with some comedy. For one unlucky tween party goer, this was definitely the worst party ever. My pal had a birthday sleepover. We were in 8th or 9th grade, I think. Street Fighter 2 had just came out for the SNES so that was basically all we did. His parents had laid out some snacks and drinks on a party table, and there was one of these huge bags of party sized Doritos there. We were playing Street Fighter when one of the guys grabbed a chip, bit into it, and yelled Doug this chip is wet he began investigating the bag and we quickly discovered that all the chips were wet. The birthday boy's 5 year old little brother had taken advantage of our Street Fighter distraction and licked all of the Dorito dust from every chip and placed them back in the bag. We found him playing in his room, his face covered in the implicating dust. I think college has desensitized me to drunk people at parties, so most of those stories don't bother me too much, but this would have freaked me the heck out. Went to another college to visit some friends. I walk through the door and realize something's wrong. They were all drunk, and watching some chick poop on the floor. I left 5 minutes later still laughing hysterically. A couple of months ago I went to my friend's party which was joined with his flatmates. About 20 minutes after we got there the housemate started banging on a glass with a fork and one of my friends got everyone to quiet down assuming it was a speech. The guy then says there are too many people here that I don't know and told me and most of my friends to leave. He took us down to let us out but couldn't unlock the front door so we had to awkwardly stand there for 15 minutes until he found the housemate we were friends with and made him let us all out. 
I was invited to a birthday party and I took a six pack of beer. I found out halfway through the party that it was actually an anniversary party for the woman's first year of being sober. Everyone at the party was from the group at Alcoholics Anonymous. I was the only person standing there with a beer in my hand. I quickly left and was too embarrassed to take the remaining beers. For years after, I wondered whether any of those people drank the rest of my beer and fell off the wagon as a result. I threw a surprise birthday party for my middle sister last year and she got super upset. She cried and made a huge scene in front of everyone at the restaurant. She thought her boyfriend was gonna propose because he wouldn't tell her where they were going. She's the worst. Well, I'm late to the party, ha ha ha, but here's mine. Senior year of college, me and two classmates rented a big, crappy house in which we held big, crappy parties most weekends. We were all theater majors, so every time a show opened or some other big event occurred in our major, we invited everyone over afterward to get sloppy and stupid. One of our last parties before graduation, my roommate invited her friend from high school down. He seemed like a pretty nice guy when I met him during the day, and at the party he was even nicer, giving out bumps of drugs to all of our friends in my roommate's bedroom. But now, I'm not too prudish about drug use. Though I wouldn't do see myself, I don't necessarily have a problem with other people doing so. But this dude was a bona fide drug dealer. So, I drank a little more and avoided my roommate's bedroom. Flash forward a few hours, and suddenly some seedy out chick I didn't know is puking in our fridge. Plenty of people have puked at my house. It's what you get when you throw parties, but never in my dang fridge. I had just gone grocery shopping earlier that day, so I was feeling pretty pee. At least this girl was kind enough to move over to the sink for her second wave. As I accompany the girl out of the house and call her a cab, her friends arrive and are all, where are you taking our friend? She's sick. W-H-O-R-U. I respond. I live here, and your friend just vomited on my cauliflower. The friends are also pretty drunk. Not sure if they were seedy out, but they may have been. Anyway, they shout a little bit at me, but when they realize that I'm not actually doing anything wrong, they start shouting at their friend for being such a freaking freshman. By this point, the girl is sitting on my lawn and pulling up the grass. I explain that I've called a cab and tell the two others to just wait until it gets there and to please get their friend home. Back inside, the party is starting to wane, and I'm grateful, cause I've got a freaking fridge to clean. But when I arrive in the kitchen, there's the drug dealer, whistling a happy tune and cleaning the puke out of my fridge. He looks at me and says, hey, don't worry, man, I've got this. Next morning, the drug dealer is gone, but the fridge is spotless. He even bought me some new cauliflower. This ended up far better than I had imagined. Was invited to a sorority party and thought it was going to be like the movies. Wild. Boy was I wrong. Ended up sitting in the corner of a room smoking hash all night and watched one girl eat an entire roast chicken to herself before I sauntered home blazed as frick at midnight. There was no alcohol at the party. It wasn't like the movies. That sounds chill -eth. Acquaintance I had met a few weeks prior invited me to a surprise party for his girlfriend. He said free beer so I was there. I show up and it's pre-gaming and your usual college shenanigans. Person in charge of keeping her busy texts him and says they'll be home soon. We are all pretty blitzed at this point but we manage to start hiding. Two minutes pass, then two more, and nothing. Finally I get up to go find him. He's getting SBJ from one of the other girls at the party. They barely noticed me, but in the meantime, the girlfriend came to the front door and she couldn't have been more excited. Everything other than that was going great until I was formally introduced to the girl giving some sloppy head. It was the girlfriend's sister. No one at this party knew except me. That was the worst party because it sobered me up quick with awkwardness all night. I bet that relationship lasted. It was a bachelor party. A friend of a friend was getting married. I ended up there because my buddy had an extra invitation. Strippers all around. Booze and crap. About 30 minutes later, 5 to 6 wives break in the place and start to yell at their husbands. Almost all of them with a stripper by their side. I left as soon as possible and matturbated myself to sleep. Matturbated. Oh frick yeah. Bills. Working full time. Oh yeah. Maybe I'll read a book after this oh yeah. Sensible meals and budgeting ooh Fools decided to hold the keg in the basement. 
the party got way too crowded and people ended up camping around the keg. As you can imagine, the basement got exceedingly hot and crowded, with too many bodies, stagnant air, low ceilings and heat someone eventually threw up. This coupled with an already empty keg caused a stampede for the one narrow staircase out. A bottleneck ensued and someone got wedged and pushed so hard into the door frame at the base of the stairs that their arm broke in two places. Hysteria. Police and an ambulance ended up on the scene and the party was over. Another reminder of just how advanced our species is, we will trample people to avoid vomit. Somebody brought their baby, keep in mind we're all 17 year olds so, yikes. Weird, 17 year olds with babies normally make such good decisions. My 9th birthday party, I invited the entire class as well as my only friends. They went to another school, the only person that showed up was my grandpa. Friend told me about this corporate party held for the clients he was at. Open bar but pretty dull with people being on their best behavior to schmooze and make the clients feel important. It was open bar in the sense that employees were understood to hold their crap together. One very very low on the totem pole employee got hammer drunk with one of their biggest clients and finger banged the heck out of her in the pool for like half an hour. Fired that following Monday, probably worth it as he was making minimum wage. That's the guy you promote not fire. Imagine the client's disappointment next time she visits the office. Friend spat in a girl's face. I had to sleep in the kitchen and used the inside of a cupboard as a pillow. I like how the two are seemingly unrelated. Lost a game of quarters and ended up buying an elephant. A clown came to my birthday party. I was too and the clown pulled out what us kids thought was a water gun but it was a real gun. He proceeded to take all the mom's watches and purses and left. This was in Mexico. Walked into my kitchen to see a very large semi-pro football player choking out a girl over the sink. I yell what the frick are you doing? And he asks me who the frick I am. When I say it's my apartment, he stops, reaches out his hand and says sorry, man. No disrespect. Great party. Oh dear god, I made out with my ex-wife's mother at a poolside party. Yes booze was involved. My wife was on her way up to the north of England to be a bridesmaid for her friend who she has known since they were young. Her friend has learning disabilities, but seemed happy with her husband to be. On the morning of the wedding, the groom was arrested for abusing young children. He was, apparently, a known assaulter. The bride's family went ahead with the wedding reception anyway. They, still, had, the, wedding, reception. My 5 year old birthday party. My friend Ricky decided to blow out my candles after everyone sang happy birthday but before I had a chance to blow them out. I cried like a little bee. Frick Ricky. I was at a trashy shotgun wedding reception and slipped off to pee in the bushes. When I came back there were two blonde strippers dressed as cops arresting the groom. I said who the frick rent strippers for a wedding really loud right as the music cut out. They weren't strippers. Caterpie is here to give you good luck with evolutions. Like this video in 2 seconds for luck. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.